Oh man, another day, another dollar, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, we down, uh, we down in the city trying to get to it, man. We going in here for a shop and pay. It ain't too bad. They ain't asking for too many things. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we should be able to get it done relatively fast. So we'll holler. We come from poverty, man. We ain't have a thing. We come from poverty, man. We ain't have a thing. All right, y'all. They want the chicken patty, boy. So. I need the chicken patty classic, but a part of it is you gotta scan that thing. Mm -mm. So we got select aisle that it's on. Aisle nine. Let me see. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, that. That's all they need. So I just delivered the food and now I'm trying to get the elevator down. As soon as I get to the elevator, I'm gonna tell y'all the story. Because right now I had to get to the eighth floor to make this delivery. Now this is the problem with the system. Boom, boom, boom. Wait for the elevator to come up. Now, while we wait, let's uh, look. Can y'all see out the... Nah, reflection is a little... All right, so I finally got the elevator to myself. To actually press the buttons, you need a key card. I don't have a key card. I'm here delivering food. So then they're requiring me to use my negotiation skills. They making me talk and sell and convince people to help me. That's a different price. That's not included in your regular delivery price. What if I didn't speak English well? You know what I'm saying? A lot of the delivery people don't speak English well. A lot of the welcome bags. <laughs> so, what if I didn't necessarily have the access, the tools, or the resources to get it done? That's severely inconvenient, and they do not compensate me accordingly. One eternity later. <sighs> Telling y'all, it would be easier to sell drugs. Five hours later. Oh man, y'all. Okay. I ain't gonna sell no drugs. <laughs> but man, when I'm telling you, what I realize is both losing and succeeding at whatever, you know, whatever it is you're trying to be successful at or whatever it is that you're losing at, whether that be, you know, life, relationship, financial, ETC, it's magnetic. So when you're losing, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen that's also going to pull you in that direction if you let it. So you're fighting against the current of whatever your losing environment is. Boy, when I tell y'all, listen, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So what I wanted to let you know is update the app D Scout right there's an app called d scout that you could download and do like user reviews um product testimonials stuff like that and get paid so recently i did a uh week no, it was more like a month. It was like a three week series. It was it was crazy. But I did a series where I got selected for the feedback process and uh oh, and they uh, took me through a three week series and then I just got the payout from it. Right. But what happens is, like I just told you, it's magnetic. So one, the money just evaporate into life. Right. You need stuff. So there's that. But then also I got a message that I'm going to put on the screen from PayPal. Like, hey, if you plan to get more than $600 on this joint, anything over that $600 mark, we're going to put on hold unless you give us your tax ID number. Because now, you know, places like Cash App, PayPal, all of the money transfer sites are going to start charging you and making you pay taxes on the money you receive over $600 because they're going to consider you a small business at that point. 
So it's like that difficulty. You're trying to get extra money. There's an added layer. We're not even talking about the difficulty that comes from the actual app itself and the information that they gather. Something that I'm conscious of, and, and this is the tough part, because if you get too smart without also getting the necessary notoriety and success that comes with smart, you're doing yourself a disservice. Because something I pay attention to is like, when you applying for jobs, right? You trying to make money, you go on different little gigs. They want information, right? They ask you where you live, your email address, your address. You know what I'm saying? You know, applications and stuff, they might need your last four, your social security number, uh, your, your, all of this information about you. You gotta say, bro, if you don't get selected, cause nine times out of 10, but let's say seven times out of 10, not nine times, seven times out of 10, you should, you batting 30%. Seven times out of 10, the opportunity ain't going to be right for you. It's not going to be a perfect fit. You're not going to get the call back. You ain't going to get the job. You ain't going to get the whatever, whatever. You just gave up your information with nothing in return. Like, like that's what you have to barter with. And that's what a lot of companies collect. And then they sell it and all of the other stuff that we ain't going to talk about right now. But being in control of your information is key, right? You, I mean, when you ain't got nothing, you like, who gonna steal my social security number? I'm in debt, right? But they could create a whole new person. They could create a whole new you on that thing. They would create a whole new you. They can get one of them trade lines. Man, it, listen, the scammers, man, it go down. And then you gotta ask yourself, do you see yourself being in this position for the rest of your life? This is where you wanna be forever, forever? Like you, 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 casting the chips in the fat lady sung and it's over because it ain't over till it's over so you can't think like yeah it's over it ain't over it ain't over it listen it ain't over it ain't over so i'll talk to y'all soon hey yo man we got another morning one man you know what i'm saying and I'm, it's another tired ass day another day that alarm went off and i said lord please don't be no alarm uh I want to end the video with this, guys. When you on this journey, it can get hard, and then it can you it can mess with how you perceive things, right? Because I gotta watch these videos back, and I'd be like, man, for real, for real, it'd be a bunch of complaining. And all, you know what I'm saying? Like, it catches, you know, like, oh, this is what's wrong with this, or this is, you know, what's wrong with this. When on the other side of that, also. I'm extremely grateful. I'm extremely grateful. I'm extremely grateful that I'm not the person I used to be where I'm looking like, okay, it got bad and I'm looking to hit a lick. And that lick has the ability to rob me of my freedom, to rob my family of having a father around. Like, it, like it's a lot. You feel what I'm saying? I'm extremely grateful I'm not that person. I'm extremely grateful that things have progressed now now granted not way slower than what i would prefer them to but things have progressed you know what i'm saying look there was a point when i remember being on the bus right before i had kids right when i was living with my mom you know what i'm saying we was just on the bus getting groceries you feel what i'm saying i go from that to like having like two or three cars in high school you know what I'm saying? Because of my dad. And then I go from there to like venturing out on my own and building a family, having two cars, one blow up, one don't really work like that. And then having, you know, no car. And then, you know, me and my family on the train and the bus. And, and, and like, I remember having a stroller, like my baby stroller. We used to have to put it on the bus. You know what I'm saying? Have her some entertainment, put a stroller on the bus. And we strike it, you know what I'm saying? We out in the wind. Like, so I'm blessed that my kids ain't on the bus no more. But damn, bruh, I don't want to be so damn close. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, man. We just had some, we just had some car trouble, man. And it's like, bruh, you, it's crazy to like work with the car, like, so you do the deliveries and all of the stuff, but then you ain't got the money to actually fix the car. But, yeah, come on, man, we're going back to, we, we ended this video on gratitude. But, 
I got, I'm blessed because I also got a woman that's able to help and, and provide what I can. Now your ego, you know what I'm saying? Your ego, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Your ego again, you know what I'm saying? But, bro, extremely blessed. Cause everybody, you know what I'm saying? Fuck your ego, put that to the side. Everybody don't, everybody ain't got it, man. Everybody don't got the setup. You feel what I'm saying? So remember along your journey, as you making your progress, as you take your strides, as you, as you venturing out on faith, attack each moment with gratitude gratitude is the mother sucking attitude i right. i'll see y'all in the next video we come from poverty man we ain't have a thing we come from poverty man we ain't have a thing